Hi, my name is Lorraine. Today I want to talk about the political correctness in this country because I often may amazed, shocked, or confused by the political correctness in the United States. I came to United States about 13 years ago. I didn't know anything about you know, the politics, the conservatives, the Democrats, or um, Republicans or um, uh, liberals, any of those things. I heard those words, but I didn't really understand what they really mean, what they uh, really, uh, what's their principle are. So I almost didn't know nothing about the politics. And, um, you know, not far, uh, not long after I get here, one day I remember really clear is we drove to Miami and I look out outside the windows, I saw there is a, a area, the whole neighborhood, the whole area, and all the windows uh, was uh, using the big metal bar and sealed. So I, because I've been in the United States a couple of months before that, and then I was thinking, everywhere else is not look like that. But what happened to this place? And the every window, even that little bitty, this little bitty window, they kind of barred. So I asked people, what's wrong with this area? Why this all protected? It seems like they never, they really do not want anybody to, to get, get into their place. So the people told me, oh, because uh, black people live here. They often get robbed and breaking all kind of a, a crime. I was then I asked them who break in their store, who rob them. They said it's black people rob them. So then, okay. Then later I did some research. I found out, you know, is uh, in the United States the black people has about twelve percent of the po uh, population, but they commit about uh, maybe more than 50% of the crime. So I, you know, I just decided I need to learn a little bit of this, my research, the information. So when, you know, I decided not to really um, go to the, those neighborhood much or not even one time. And uh, I, dis I, I, you know, sometimes when I see a scary looking black man walk on the same side of, with me and towards me, I would uh, really get scared. Sometimes I will, I will walk to another side of the uh, road. I thought that would just, uh, you know, common sense, uh, human nature. But then I found, you know, it's not political correct. You are not allowed to do that. Because Obama said, if a white woman see a black man and hold their purse a little close, closer, tighter, that's considering the sign of a racist. You know, I never want to be a racist. You know, I don't really care what people's uh, skin color is. I just want to live a safe and comfortable, easy life. I will be nice to anybody who are nice and afraid of uh, people look scary may hurt me. That is just common sense. But uh, the, under the political correctness, that's not right. And, uh, you know, I will never, uh, if I see uh, Dr. Ben Carson, or I see Denzel Washington, uh, or the Alan West, I will never walk away from them because just look at their face, their kindness on their face. Who's going to afraid of them? But when I see somebody really scary looking, you know what I'm talking about, then I should just walk away from them. I thought that was just a common sense, but under the political correctness, it's not right. I will get condemned by just doing that, okay? The next thing I just get confused too is like, you know, I'm not an expert on Islam, or I don't know too much about uh, um, Islam and never read a, a Quran or anything. But I, I, I watch news, I 
um, I read news, you know, basically, and uh, I found out after you know I found out the Muslim country, uh, the court is not just a radical Muslim. This is the court. They will sentence a woman uh, to death by stoning, and also there is many. Uh, the Muslim country, a 50 years old man or younger, whatever, older, they are legally can marry to a nine years old girl. And the, like the uh, honor killing, you guys maybe heard about it, is, uh, in, you know, I read one father, Muslim father, and uh, he found out his daughter is trying, was trying to date um, some non Muslim. And he just called the daughter to get home, and he just killed the daughter, and that's very popular. And uh, so when I read that, you know, I don't have a word to describe it. But when I turn on the TV, somebody described it for me. They said, "Muslim Islam is the religion of the peace." I just say, "Oh my God, who is so smart to figure this out?" You know, if just by I, you know, just ignoring. Let's see, not count the radical Islamic people. Uh, you know, do all the terrorist attacks. Just, but just the things I said based on those. Uh, for a million years, I would not come out of this conclusion. Said uh, Islam is a religion of the peace. But then they told us said.、Uh, Obama said, "Yeah, that's the only thing you can say." And the attorney general even said, "If you say bad about a Muslim, and、uh, you may be, we may be throwing you in jail." That's how serious it. So you know the the. But the fact is, I don't think even Muslims think that's correct, because、uh, you know one of the imam. A famous imam, I cannot pronounce his name, and he lived in England. Once he gave an interview、uh, to a medium, he said, "You cannot say Muslims、uh, um, really、uh, Islam is a religion of the peace. You can't just can't say it. We are not.、Um, Islam is the、um, you know is it doesn't mean、uh, peace. So look, you try to kiss their ass. The the Western country." They try to kiss those people's ass, but then they feel insulted. <laughs> We're not. We, you know, I, I don't know too much about them, but I overheard about one thing: is they rewarding the the people whoever die for Islam. Islam, they reward them seventy two virgins. Is that telling you something? Yeah, is they, you know, they maybe. The peace is not their priority of teaching.、Uh, the imam said clearly, "It's not. We are not. You can't see Islam is the religion of the peace." So you know, I finally figured this out. What is political correct? Is you know, if your neighbor's son was eaten by a tiger, even your grandmother. Was eaten by a tiger, but when you see a tiger, you cannot run away from tiger, because the government told will tell you said, you know you cannot prejudge this tiger, the tiger this tiger maybe is a good one, good tiger. If you run away from him, you hurt his feelings, and then he may not even. Wanted to eat you, and then you thought he wanted to eat you. That's your fault. You need to be condemned. You hurt his feelings. You prejudge him, and、uh, yeah, this one maybe is a good one. Not all the tiger will eat human, and、uh, yeah, look, there is not much human was eaten by tiger. So yeah, so you have to stay there and see what happened. Yeah, but、uh, that's not the worst thing. The worst of the worst is when you go to school, your teacher will tell you the same thing. When you go home, talk to your mother, your mother tell you the same thing. So because everybody was brainwashed by the political correctness, yeah. So 
the damage in what it's going to do to people is uh, after people get brainwashed by the political correctness, they kind of uh, abandoned the, their human nature uh, common sense. They are not, they are not analyze one thing, one situation based on fact or experience anymore. They only can base on the political correctness. If that's correct or not, um, you know, they cannot, they, they lost their basic um, logic. They lost their, um, they lost their um, standard of the, lost the standard of the right to judge what is right and what is wrong. And just, you, you just lost all those common sense. But that's very, very dangerous thing because God gave, created a human being, yes? And he gave us a lots of, uh, you know, he gave us a perfect body and uh, he gave us lots of uh, uh, sense and feelings. This is all very valuable to protect us, like the sense of pain. You know, you don't want to feel pain, but if you lost the ability to feel the pain, you in big trouble. You know, the regularly people regular people, if you you put your hand on the hot stove, you get burned, you you feel the pain, you take your hand away from the stove and you avoid getting further damage. But if you lost the feeling of the pain and you can't feel the pain anymore, and then when you put your hand on the stove, the stove burning you, you don't feel it, and then you keep keep on the stove for half hour. Your your hand is all, you know, being cooked and totally just destroyed. So those valuable feelings God gave us is to protect us, but the political correctness is just take that away from you, and make you can't really focus and function and uh, to judge anything by yourself. You know, the people the damage is already done. It's so much proof the damage is already done. Look recently, let me get a couple examples. You know, right after um, Paris got attacked by jihadists, whatever, and then this um, um, one guy show up and he put a sign on himself and said, I'm a Muslim. I, I'm not a terrorist, uh, do you trust me, and uh, can I get, get a hug from you? So <laughs> you cannot believe it, so people wait online to hug this guy. And they just, uh, because they, they've been brainwashed by the political correctness, so they think, you know, I have to hug this guy. And because if I don't hug him, it's going to hurt his feelings. That's not correct. So I just need to trust him, even that's no, no fact, you know. It, based on what? You trust the guy based on what? The serious thing happens later is they found out the guy, he is a real terrorist, you know. How dangerous you trust him because he could have this uh, um, suicide vest on himself when you go hug him and then he could blow you up. It very, um, you know, could be. But uh, yeah, because you lost the ability to thinking things right and then you just trust him based on no fact and then you put yourself in danger. Another funny thing is just recently and um, this um, the um, uh, in the Philadelphia area, and uh, this um, Muslim guy, he had you know with a gun, he used to run to this police car to try to kill the police officer. Later he been caught, and he told the police he said, "I do this in the name of uh, Islam," but the mayor of that city came out on the con news conference. He said. Uh, there's nothing, this crime is nothing to do with Islam and nothing to do with him to follow Islam. And isn't that funny? Is uh, he decided this, the, what the criminal said was not political correct. 
<laughs> and then he designed, he cracked that cover for the guy, and just told everybody said, you know, even he said, he said he is in the name of Islam. That cannot be true. That's not right. And then yeah, let let me tell you, I know more better, and because I know political correctness. And then let me tell you, he is not. That's nothing to do with the uh, the uh, Islam. You know, isn't that shows that after you being brainwashed by political correct correctness, and then you become um like a like a stupid, like a moron, and uh, it's uh, so so dangerous for our country, for the whole Western country, because like you know, the the, the Muslim never promote themselves as a. A, a a religion of the peace. We voluntarily we so worry about it, we if offended them, and we label them this beautiful label. They even said, "Hey, who told you that? How much you know about that?" And it's not. But you teach your own children, you teach your own people, your own people, and you make them believe that's true. That only will put them, your own people, in danger, your own country, in danger. Yeah, the damage already done, commit, and it's a huge damage. I hope people to wake up and uh, against political correctness. And uh, recently, this uh, uh, Donald Trump, he has a sign. He said, "I have uh, no time." For political correctness, and either this country has no time for political correctness, we are losing our country. So I think he is a hundred percent right. Just for this one sentence, I support him. Thank you for watching.